What's up guys? Today I'm flying my 1.6 meter twin boom pusher, which is one of my robust and trusty FPV platforms for medium to long range FPV. It's powered by a 4S 9600mAh 4S2P lithium ion with a 600kV motor running a 12 by 7 propeller and managed by a 40 amp ESC. With that, it has the Mobius Maxi camera on board for HD, a 600 milliwatt video transmitter, standard 700 to 1200 TV line FPV camera, a Batian BN180 GPS, and an FR Sky X8R receiver, which is all managed by the Matek F405 wing flight controller. It's all a weight, turns out to be 1.88 kilograms. At launch, the Silver Spectre UAV pushed up forwards into the air with its steady, predictable and solid fly behavior. It steadily climbed out to about 80 meters after a minute or so and settled into its cruise direction with its throttle set at about 6 amps doing about 63 kilometers an hour by a slight tailwind. The objective was straightforward to at least cross the lake ahead of me and see how well the video and radio quality last with its high gain antennas on my radio and FPV goggles. The air was smooth during the trip out and the weather conditions were very pleasant for the FPV crews. Voltage held strong at about 15.5 volts at the 6 amp load and every parameter looked exactly how they should which meant no surprises. At about 4 kilometers out, I started to see the shimmer of the lake ahead. While the aircraft was pushing farther from home, the video quality and RSSI remained solid, dipping slightly from time to time but still well enough to adjust my aim and cruise further. At 5 kilometers, the aircraft reached the beginning of the lake, and the scenery completely transformed through the goggles by seeing the vast sheet of blue water stretching for almost a full kilometer ahead. Since this was the furthest I've been with this particular design, every kilometer gained in distance felt like serious progress. At 6.5 kilometers out ahead of the lake, the landscape and view reverted as before with the stretch of fields which ran towards the distant windmills from home but started to get more and more detailed through the goggles. The air also felt a bit different too out there which might have been by a slightly different wind direction or the lake which affects the wind differently at the other side of it. Nonetheless, the aircraft was in flow state, still going strong at about 60 kilometers an hour with still a solid picture, radio control and plenty of battery capacity left. But seeing the widely planted fields of windmills ahead, I decided to distantly approach one for the view and then call it a day.
With a nice look of the windmills ahead, I manually turned around at the distance of 8 kilometers. Everything held strong although the video starts to flicker momentarily by me turning around and changing the antenna's orientation on signal beams in relation to the high gain antennas on my goggles. Flying the plane back with the same cruise throttle of 6 and 7 amps, its average speed dropped to about 42 to 45 km an hour because of the headwind. Although it is an advice to fly tailwind out and headwind back, the day itself was very calm and breezes were as much as they were which allowed me to fly in the desired direction of the lake with plenty of battery and flight time left if wind were to pick up. Flying over the waters again, I couldn't resist the circle over the lake and observe the beauty of it from above. With this flight of footage in the pocket, I was really glad having reached 8 kilometers with an X8R receiver on this twin boom pusher design. After landing and changing the batteries, the next flight trip was done to try and reach further which allowed me to set an over the 11 kilometer flight which changed my views and thoughts on the receiver whenever I'm flying with this high gain antenna on my transmitter. The raw footage of that flight is already on the channel and viewable for my members, but it will be published for all you guys in the near future, and if you like to build this plane yourself, the build video is available on the channel and make sure to subscribe and not miss out on the next video. Thank you guys so much for watching and if you'd like to see the exclusive content feel free to become a member which is done within like two minutes or so and if not stay tuned for the next one coming your way soon. What a platform.